ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, Episode 12. This is Monday Night Raw, and this is the first Raw after that great Backlash pay-per-view. And tonight, we will feel the effects of the Backlash pay-per-view as we kick off the road to Money in the Bank. But tonight, here on Monday Night Raw, we have a tag team grudge match lined up as Dominic Mysterio returned from concussion to team up with his father Ray to take on Seth Rollins and his disciple Murphy. How will Seth Rollins and Murphy bounce back after their loss at Backlash, and will Ray Mysterio get retribution over Murphy after his attack a couple of weeks ago? Also tonight, in the main event, Money in the Bank qualifying matches kick off. Drew McIntyre is set for action against a mystery opponent who is lined up to fight Drew McIntyre in tonight's main event and who will be the first man to qualify for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match in a couple of weeks' time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. And this is how you kick off Monday Night Raw hot. The Cruiserweight Championship being defended for the very first time here on Universe Mode after we crowned the new champion last night at Backlash. We're going to talk about Backlash all night long, but Grand Metalik of Lucha House Party on his way to the ring with his brothers in arms. He is set for a Cruiserweight Championship matchup against the new Cruiserweight Champion, the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. This is going to be a great matchup, folks. We'll talk all about Santos Escobar winning the Cruiserweight Championship in a bit, but if you did miss out on Backlash, definitely go ahead and check out the replay now. You will see the six-pack challenge for the Cruiserweight Championship. You'll see Pete Dunne making his main roster debut over Apollo Crews. You'll see all the championships being defended, including the Viking Raiders taking on RK Bro, Bianca Belair taking on Sasha Banks for the Women's Championship, and of course, what a great main event it was. The phenomenal AJ Styles versus the almighty Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. Backlash was a historic night, and if you've missed out, Definitely go check out the replay now. As we get set for Monday Night Raw, Lucha House Party is in the ring. But as we mentioned, it's Grand Metalik getting the opportunity of a lifetime here tonight. As he is set for a one-on-one -on -one competition for the first Cruiserweight Championship defense of the new champion, the leader of Legado del Fantasma, with Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza in his corner. There's the man himself, Santos Escobar. With that beautiful... Cruiserweight Championship around his waist. That man right there reigns supreme. Last night at Backlash, he was the last man standing of six in that elimination six-pack challenge matchup. Santos Escobar running the gauntlet, defeating Isaiah Swerve Scott in the final minutes to become the new Cruiserweight Champion. And an interesting note is that Santos Escobar also was the one who eliminated Grand Metalik in that matchup. But what a way to kick things off here as we kick off the road to Money in the Bank here tonight. Our first Raw after Backlash inside a brand new Monday Night Raw arena. Just feels like it got a little bit more of a, an edge here, if you will. I am looking forward to things tonight. It's going to be an exciting night. Also coming tonight, the first women's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup as well. That'll be coming up after this Cruiserweight Championship matchup. It's going to be a great night of action, folks. Make sure you stay tuned. Let's get into things. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. Grand Metalik, the challenger. Santos Escobar, the new Cruiserweight Champion, set to defend his championship for the very first time. Let's send things down to the ring for our official in-ring introductions. Introducing the challenger from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Weighing in at 175 pounds. And introducing the champion from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Santos Escobar. Well, here we go. Santos Escobar just won the title last night at Backlash, but will he be handing it over for the first time and the last time here this evening as we kick off what should be a great night of action inside that squared circle here tonight on Monday Night Raw? The Cruiserweight Championship, it's what it's all about. That prestigious championship that's been held by so many greats. Will Santos Escobar continue his reign, or will Grand Metalik reach the top of the Cruiserweight division for the very first time in his career as we are underway with our first contest here tonight 
which would be a great night on Monday Night Raw. I am very much looking forward to things. Backlash was such a success. We got to thank you all at home who tuned in to the live premiere for Backlash, who are watching the replay. Things are going great for that. And I have a feeling things are only going to pick up from here as tonight we kick off the road to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Opportunity surrounding us here in Universe Mode on Monday Night Raw. We got Gray and Metal League getting a Cruiserweight Championship opportunity right here tonight. And of course, the Money in the Bank will feature the women's and the men's Money in the Bank ladder matches. Six participants in each. Only one person will walk away with those briefcases. And you guys know what is inside those briefcases. Future championship opportunities. I cannot wait to see who's going to qualify over the next couple of weeks for those Money in the Bank ladder matches. We're going to start finding out right here tonight. As we mentioned, the Women's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup will take place. The first one right after this Cruiserweight Championship defense. And then, of course, in our main event, Drew McIntyre, who's looking to bounce back after losing to AJ Styles in the finals of the number one contenders tournament last week here on Monday Night Raw. He's looking to bounce back tonight as he'll be in the men's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup against a mystery opponent. We'll find out who that is later tonight in the main event. Let's get to the ring inside the action. Santos Escobar, Grand Metalik, the Cruiserweight title's on the line. Metalik, nice springboard elbow. Didn't catch all of it, but caught just enough to take the current champion off his feet. As we mentioned, Santos Escobar winning the championship for the second time in his career. The first time here on the main roster last night at Backlash, defeating Grand Metalik, the man he is in the ring with, as well as Isaiah Swerve Scott, Rey Mysterio. Mansoor and Ricochet, the five men who fell. Santos Escobar was your last man standing. And the reason he is holding the Cruiserweight Championship here tonight. As Metal League springboard, mood salt, beautifully done by the King of the Ropes. Will we have a new Cruiserweight Championship earlier on here? Excuse me. And Metal League not able to put Santos Escobar away. We got Lucha House Party, Kalisto and Lince Dorado watching at ringside as Metal League takes out Santos Escobar with the super kick. The other two members of Legado Del Fantasma watching their leader inside the ring as well. Metalik went for the elbow drop, but Santos Escobar gets out of the way just in the nick of time. As Escobar kicked to the gut, look at that little underhook and drops Grand Metalik right on the knees. That is going to knock the wind right out of your sails. Santos Escobar in control now after that misstep from Grand Metalik earlier. He cradles him up and drops him down. It's one of Santos Escobar's most impactful maneuvers inside of the ring. Metalik looking to bounce back. He's getting in a, a huge opportunity here tonight. He's also looking for payback over Santos Escobar. As we mentioned, Grand Metalik was the first to be eliminated in that matchup last night. As Metalik goes to the ropes again with the springboard root salt. And he goes to the cover, but Escobar gets the shoulder up at two. So far, we haven't had to worry about Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza, Legado Del Fantasma at ringside. That may be credit to Grand Metalik having his own personal backup in Lucha House Party. Man, this is a six-man tag team match that I would love to see in the near future. As Metalik took over Santos Escobar with that Hurricane Rana. Now he's got him on the shoulders. What's he looking for here? Cradles him up. Basically a phantom driver that we see from Santos Escobar. Metalik's maneuver. Metalik's variation of the maneuver, I should say, but it's not enough to put Santos Escobar away. That move, very similar. Extremely similar to the one Santos Escobar uses. He calls it the phantom driver. That's his big time maneuver on the ring, in the ring. The, the move that won him the Cruiserweight Championship at Backlash. Santos Escobar's dazed and confused. The king of the ropes is on the top rope. Beautiful crossbody by Grand Metalik. And he's heading back up right in the Legado del Fantasma corner. What is he going for here? Metalik. Oh, man. Went for the spiral tap. But Santos Escobar getting out of the way. Metalik crashed and burned. What an offensive maneuver that would have been if he nailed it. That spiral tap. Could have been a huge effective maneuver to gain in Grand Metal League the Cruiserweight Championship here tonight. Unfortunately for him, Santos Escobar had it scouted, got out of the way, and our Metal League is in deep, deep trouble. He's wearing that white and gold. He's looking to walk away with a new piece of gold here tonight, but right now Santos Escobar has got things firmly in control in his corner. He's got Metal League days to confuse on the shoulders and drops him right down in his head. Santos Escobar may be getting ready to put things away here. And it may be end still for your Cruiserweight Champion. Into that cover goes Escobar. 
It's one. We got a two. And it's going to be three. No, Grant Middleink gets the shoulder up. What a great matchup to kick us off here on Monday Night Raw. Still two. Money in the Bank qualifying matches to come, plus that tag team grudge match between the Mysterios as well as Murphy and Seth Rollins. A rivalry renewed after Murphy's attack on Rey Mysterio a couple of weeks ago. We'll talk more about that later tonight, but Santos Escobar into the corner, delivers a beautiful elbow to Gray and Metalik, right to the cranium after he just dropped his head on him right a few weeks ago, or a few weeks ago, a few moments ago, excuse me. Ever since Metalik crashed and burned off that spiral tap, things have been well in control for our current Cruiserweight Champion. Santos Escobar is looking to cradle, Metalik up again and he does! I feel like Santos Escobar is smelling victory right now. Look at this, he's tearing at the mask, oh he could be going for a submission hold. Did not watch his ring awareness there, Metalik had the foot under the ropes. You gotta watch when you're inside the squared circle, pay attention. We've seen that a lot recently. Other competitors not paying attention to where they are in the ring. The submission holds not as effective as you want them to be because of that. Santos goes to the top rope and he hits a crossbody of his own on Grand Metalik. Such great cruiserweight action to kick us off here tonight. Metalik is dazed. Escobar's got him up. Phantom driver from the cruiserweight champion. Into the cover. It's two. And Grand Metalik falls to Santos Escobar here tonight. A great effort from Metalik, but Santos Escobar walking out of his first Cruiserweight Championship defense, still your Cruiserweight Champion of the World. That is how you kick things off here on Monday Night Raw. Great wrestling action from these two Cruiserweights. Great performance by that man right there, Grand Metalik. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, Santos Escobar is not done. Santos Escobar attacking Grand Metalik at ringside. This is just, this is unnecessary. This is completely unnecessary, but we know the attitude of Santos Escobar. I'm sure he's looking to send a message to the rest of the Cruiserweight division that Legado Del Fantasma is on top of the Cruiserweight world here in the WWE. Well, let's keep things going here on Monday Night Raw. As we mentioned, it is time for your very first Women's Money in the Bank match qualifier. We'll see the men's one later tonight in the main event when Drew McIntyre takes on a mystery opponent. But now we focus in on the women, and we focus on Naomi. Of course, it will be six women joining the fray in that ladder match with the briefcase hanging above the ring at Money in the Bank. Only one woman will walk out with the briefcase and walk away with the opportunity of a lifetime, a future WWE Women's Championship matchup. And speaking of that championship, of course, at Backlash, Bianca Belair defended the championship against Sasha Banks. It was a very much anticipated rematch. Unfortunately, we saw things end pretty short for Sasha Banks in that matchup. Bianca Belair retaining the WWE Women's Championship after a series of high-risk maneuvers from the top rope. We found out moments later during our World Tag Team Championship match on Backlash that Sasha Banks had actually broken a few ribs during the landings of Bianca Belair in that matchup. Hence the reason why the match went so short. Unfortunately, Sasha Banks breaking a couple of ribs and she'll be out from four to eight weeks recovery time for her. We wish the, we wish the best, excuse me, for the boss. And we can't wait to see her back in this ring. If Bianca Belair is the current women's champion. She could be looking at future challengers as Naomi awaits her opponent. And it looks like it's gonna be the return of the Empress of Tomorrow. A woman who we have not seen Inside the squared circle in quite a while, Asuka is back on Monday Night Raw. This is a surprise. We didn't know who would be competing in this Women's Money in the Bank qualifier until now. And it looks like Drew McIntyre's opponent later tonight isn't the only mystery that was lined up for us. Naomi set for action. And she's going one-on-one -on -one with, again, a woman who has not been inside the ring for quite some time due to injury, but she's all healed up. She's back tonight. And the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, is back right here, right now on Monday Night Raw. This is going to be a good one as Asuka takes on Naomi in our first Women's Money in the Bank match qualifier. One of the most dangerous women in WWE today. She's a former NXT Women's Champion. She was undefeated for quite some time 
in NXT in the beginning of her main roster run. Excuse me, she's a SmackDown Women's Champion, Raw Women's Champion, former Women's Tag Team Champion. Asuka has done it all here in the WWE. And she's looking to become Mrs. Money in the Bank in a couple of weeks' time. All right, here we go. Our first Women's Money in the Bank match qualifier, Naomi. Asuka. The first spot in the Money in the Bank is on the line. This is a qualifying matchup. Let's get things underway here on Monday Night Raw. Asuka starting out strong with a drop kick. Naomi goes for one, but Asuka's smart to go low there and dip out of it. And as we mentioned, the current WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Blair, she's going to be looking for new challengers. She's going to be looking for somebody to step up to face her for the Women's Championship at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, but she's also got to keep her eyes on who's going to be participating in that Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. She could be looking at a potential list of future opponents. As Naomi is in control, the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka's going to be coming out hot here. She's going to be coming out strong. This is her first match in quite some time. Definitely going to be throwing Naomi off her game a bit. That was a nice dip by Asuka. And she just hits her with that palm strike. Asuka, one of the hardest hitting women inside the square circle today. She has been for many years here in the WWE. This is the first time these two women have gone one-on-one. -on -one. So Naomi, not completely unfamiliar. She's going to have to kind of use her speed and agility and try to dip out Asuka as she comes from the top rope with that elbow drop. See Naomi, it's not uncharacteristic for her to go high risk. And something like that, she's using her advantage, or I should say using her strength to her advantage. As she came from the top rope there as Asuka with that kick. And now look at this, the Empress of Tomorrow unloading with those kicks to the chest of Naomi. And there's one to the head that could be a knockout blow just minutes into this matchup. Which one of these two women as Asuka just flattens Naomi in the corner? Which one of these two women is going to take the first spot of six? In the ladder match in a couple of weeks' time at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Our second Universe Mode pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. And I'm sure it's going to be a great night of action. I can't wait to see a couple of weeks from now, as the card comes together, what we're going to be witnessing on that pay-per-view event. We will be seeing one of these women on that night. Will it be Asuka or will it be Naomi? Look at this, Asuka. Really beating down Naomi in this matchup, using her kicks, using her feet to her advantage. There's another one there. Make it two to the back of the head of Naomi. Asuka just vicious and violent inside of the ring. And there's a palm strike that could be a knockout blow. What a surprise seeing Asuka return to the, return to the ring tonight. Excuse me. First time in quite some time Asuka has been inside the squared circle here on Monday Night Raw. A nice kick there. Look at this. Asuka's hitting the ropes. Could be looking for that hip attack. Naomi, however, able to roll out. Asuka was going for that final blow, that hip attack. Naomi, however, uses her legs to her advantage. She flattens Asuka face first onto the mat. Naomi goes for the kick. Asuka counters. One kick for herself. It's been a great matchup. We're only a few minutes in. Asuka now going back to the kicks that aided her early on. The couple to the chest and one to the side of the head. The Empress of Tomorrow has been controlling the majority of this matchup over Naomi, who is a former champion in her own right. Takes Naomi over with the fireman's carry there. I sense Naomi is in trouble. Asuka looks like she's looking to put possibly a final blow on this matchup. She's locking her in. Asuka lock is locked in. Naomi's got nowhere to go. She's close to the ropes. I don't know if she'll be able to reach though. She can't. She taps out. And just like that, after a few minutes, Asuka in impressive fashion, tapping out Naomi here tonight. And the Empress of Tomorrow gains the first spot in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match in a couple of weeks time. What a great matchup off a return from action here tonight. That Asuka lock just sending doom into the hearts of everybody in that women's division. And I'm sure Bianca Belair had her eyes on this matchup, looking at a possible future opponent. Big win for Asuka as she qualifies for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match.
Well, we got a couple of other matches lined up for you here on Monday Night Raw tonight. Pete Dunne, his second matchup on the main roster, takes on her business member, Shelton Benjamin, and Isaiah Swerve Scott in cruiserweight action against Kushida. Pete Dunne picking up his second victory over Shelton Benjamin, his second win after he defeated Apollo Crews at Backlash. And in cruiserweight action, Isaiah Swerve Scott picks up the victory one-on-one -on -one over Kushida. Let's keep this show going. It is time for a tag team grudge match here on Monday Night Raw. This thing escalated a few weeks ago, got sidetracked due to the Backlash pay-per-view. But now these two men and these two teams looking to settle the score right here tonight. And here come Dominic and Rey Mysterio. This is Dominic's first matchup here on Universe Mode. He was out with a concussion for a number of weeks, but he is back here tonight alongside his father. The Mysterios are in tag team action, reigniting an old rivalry versus Murphy and Seth Rollins. But this thing got escalated a few weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw when Murphy picked up a victory over Rey Mysterio one-on-one. -on -one. But after the matchup is where things got elevated as Murphy did not want to just take the victory. He wanted to make a statement and beat down the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio, after the matchup. Of course, as we mentioned, Murphy and Seth Rollins were dealing with issues with Mustafa Ali over the last number of weeks that led to the backlash pay-per-view. Rey Mysterio, on the other hand, was tied up in the six-pack challenge for the Cruiserweight Championship last night. So things kind of got derailed, but now that Dominic is back and the, the, the sides are even, these two men looking to settle the score here tonight. Rey Mysterio looking to get back at Murphy, and I'm sure Seth Rollins and Murphy are looking to get back in the winning ways after they lost to Mustafa Ali and Dominic Dijakovic at the Backlash pay-per-view, which we'll talk more about momentarily. But here comes the Messiah, Seth Rollins, as well as his disciple, his brother-in-arms, Buddy Murphy. This is an old rivalry that goes way back almost two years ago here in the WWE. We've seen this tag team matchup on pay-per-view before, but now we're reigniting things. The flame is back here tonight on Raw. But as we mentioned, it was at the Backlash pay-per-view. Seth Rollins and Murphy looking to deal with the thorn in their side. Mustafa Ali set up a tag team matchup. Mustafa Ali got the choice to pick any partner of his choosing. And who did he choose? Dominic Dijakovic. Back here on the main roster under the Dominic Dijakovic name. No longer T-Bar. And in that matchup, Dijakovic and Mustafa Ali picking up a huge tag team victory. Mustafa Ali pinning Murphy for the second time last week as those two men faced in the main event of main event television last week as well where Mustafa Ali picked up the victory over Murphy. So after a number of losses, Seth Rollins taking a loss as well in that tag team matchup. I'm sure these two were more fired up than ever. And right now just want to settle their score with the Mysterios because I'm sure Seth Rollins especially is not done with Mustafa Ali just yet. Well, let's continue on with Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. We still got a Money in the Bank qualifying match to come, but right here, right now, we got Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio versus Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy. The bell has rung, and it is time for a little tag team grudge match right here on Monday Night Raw. Mysterio and Murphy kicking us off. These are the two men who had the issue with each other a couple weeks ago, as we mentioned. It was a great one-on-one -on -one matchup. Buddy Murphy picked up the win on that night. All could have been well and good. And we all could have just moved on after that singles matchup. But Buddy Murphy was looking to make a statement over the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio, with that post-match attack as we showed you. Rey Mysterio was involved in that six-pack challenge for the Cruiserweight Championship. He had side business to take care of as he tags in. Dominic Mysterio is in here now. His first match back since his concussion. And of course, as we've been mentioning, Murphy and Seth Rollins had their own issues with Mustafa Ali. Now Dominic Dijakovic is in the mix. But Dominic Mysterio back in action here tonight. Whether to join his father by his side. And even things out with Murphy and Seth Rollins. Nice mood salt there. Goes into the cover, but way too early. As the young kid, Dominic Mysterio, a bit a little naive there. I think he was going to put Murphy away so early. Dominic and Wright, former tag team champions. I'm sure they would love to get back in the title mix for those titles. Murphy and Seth Rollins on the other hand. 
We could say the same about them. I'm sure they would love to be tag team champions, but I'm sure right now all they're looking to do is get back a victory, get momentum back on their side. And I'm sure Mustafa Ali is still in both of their hindsights as Murphy takes out Dominic, but Rey Mysterio is the legal man right now. And we got Murphy and Rey Mysterio inside the squared circle. Nice sit-out maneuver by Buddy Murphy. Former Cruiserweight Champion, former NXT Tag Team Champion, and World Tag Team Champion here in the WWE. But here comes the Messiah, Seth Rollins, in there with an, an old rival, Rey Mysterio. We don't need to run down Seth Rollins' accolades. They've been well documented plenty of times here. And now he's going up top. Seth Rollins could be looking to end things early with a big time maneuver. Dominic getting back into the ring. Murphy on the outside. Rollins neglecting against that high risk maneuver. I think Rey Mysterio might have been a little too far for Rollins to hit whatever he was going for, but he instead decides to hit the ripcord knee. Tag made to Murphy. Tag made to Dominic. And here we go. Dominic taking down Murphy. Nice, beautiful drop kick there. Dominic Mysterio is feeling it. And what a great night of action it has been so far and still to come right after this matchup, of course. We have Drew McIntyre versus a mystery opponent in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup as Dominic Mysterio hits that big-time splash from the top rope. He's going for the cover on the disciple himself with Seth Rollins breaking things up. Dominic Mysterio almost putting Murphy away early. As, Mysteri as Rey Mysterio was down and out, Dominic was looking to finish things on his own. Unfortunately, he did not watch Seth Rollins. Rollins able to get in there and have his disciples back momentarily. Murphy just drops him. And he takes control back for his side of the ring. And I can't wait to see who the mystery opponent that is lined up for Drew McIntyre is going to be. I'm sure Drew McIntyre is going to be fired up after his loss last week. Murphy... Big time running knee and delivers another one. Back to back knockout blows. Dominic Mysterio is out cold in the ring. And the disciple tags in the Messiah looking to put in the final blow as Rollins with the knee. Dominic may be down and out. Seth Rollins is headed to the top rope. What is, pos what is Rollins possibly looking to do here after a number of knees? I believe Dominic may even... Oh, Dominic's got a little, little cut over his eye. First match back from a concussion, a couple of knees there, opening Dominic Mysterio up. That is not what you want to see if you're Rey Mysterio. And Rollins here looking to do more damage to the wound as he drops Dominic right on the turnbuckle. Rollins and Murphy smell blood. They are beating down on Dominic, not letting Rey inside of the ring right now. Dominic trying to get to his feet as Rollins and Murphy discuss strategy. Rollins in there with Dominic now. He's trying to fight back with Seth Rollins. Grabs a hole in a snap suplex. Dominic is in deep trouble at the current moment. Seth Rollins, look at Dominic, was trying to crawl to the corner. You see the cut over his eye. Rollins cutting him off, looking to tie him up, possibly a submission hold here. He's locking it in. Here comes Rey Mysterio to break up the count. Smart maneuver from Rey with the blood coming out of Dominic, I believe, over the eyebrow. Things could have got it even worse with that submission hold, possibly a, a pass out maneuver for Dominic. And meanwhile, Rollins, look at that beautiful kick to the back of the head. Like it or not, it's effective. As Murphy and Rollins have got Dominic exactly where they want him right now. I'm sure these two men are absolutely fired up. Looking to get the momentum back on their side after that upsetting loss to Mustafa Ali and Dominic Dijakovic at Backlash. As Murphy with a big time power bomb follows it up with a bicycle knee. Dominic may be down and out. But Murphy is still unloaded on the poor kid. And now a tag made to Rollins. You see the frequent tags from these two. They're both getting themselves some in this matchup. Ray can't do nothing but look on. Here comes Rollins from the top. Went for the Phoenix Splash, but he miscalculated where Dominic was. Luckily for Dominic Mysterio. And that misstep by Seth Rollins allows Dominic to get back in control. Look at this, what's Dominic got in mind here? Wait a minute. Seth Rollins in the middle rope. Dominic, get a little of this. He's dialing it up with the 619. Dominic Mysterio with a 619. And now he's headed up top. Dominic could be looking to put this matchup away. Frog splash. He hits it flush. 
The costly misstep from Seth Rollins may have just cost him the victory over the Mysterios. Dominic into the cover, and I have a feeling that would have been it had Mustafa Ali just not stuck his nose in the business right there. And I believe I just called Murphy Mustafa Ali. I have to apologize. That was Murphy sticking his nose in to break up that pinfall. It's Mustafa Ali who's had the issues with Rollins and Murphy over the last number of weeks. Dominic's been in the match for a while. He wasn't able to put Rollins away there. Definitely did some big time damage. But now he tags in Rey Mysterio. And Rollins dropping Rey right on the knee. Tag made to Murphy, and now we're back to where we started with Rey Mysterio and Murphy, the two men, where this thing all started with, where this flame got reignited. Murphy running, sit out, powerbomb the Rey. Dominic, I'm sure, has got to be hurting on the outside of the ring. He's trying to hang in there. He's got blood coming out from above the eye. There's Murphy now. Could be looking for that knockout blow on Rey Mysterio when he hits the knee. Tag made to Seth Rollins. What a great tag team matchup this has been. Oh, you know, these, the, the issues between these, these four men go beyond what I'm about to say. But you got to think, the Viking Raiders, the current Raw Tag Team Champions, excuse me, the current WWE World Tag Team Champions, I'm sure have their eye on each and every tag team matchup as Seth Rollins curb stomp to Rey Mysterio. Rollins with the curb stomp. Could be going for the cover here, but Rey Mysterio way too close for the ropes. Rollins needs to pay attention. He might have just put Rey away there, but Rey's arm is just underneath the bottom rope. But as I was mentioning, the current World Tag Team Champions, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, I'm sure they might have their eye on this tag team matchup, even though the issues go beyond what we're seeing here. Murphy, Murphy's Law! To Rey Mysterio. Murphy with the Murphy's Law and Rey. Dominic trying to get in. He can't get there fast enough. Murphy and Seth Rollins pick up the victory over Ray and Dominic here tonight. Great tag team matchup. You got to give credit to the young kid, Dominic Mysterio, who took a beating in this match but fought back with the 619, the frog splash. Seth Rollins and Murphy putting the exclamation point on Ray Mysterio, though. First, there was the curb stomp that Ray Mysterio was able to withstand because his hand was under here the ropes. Are your winners, Seth Rollins and Murphy. But in the end, Murphy with the Murphy's Law and Rey Mysterio and the Messiah and the Disciple are back in control of things. But ladies and gentlemen, next week on Monday Night Raw, Mustafa Ali will meet Seth Rollins in the ring once again, but this time, it's going to be a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup just announced for next week on Raw. I can't wait to see those two back inside the ring with each other. And also, this Thursday on WWE Main Event, the new WWE Champion AJ Styles takes on her business member Cedric Alexander, looking to get payback after that post-match assault last week on Monday Night Raw. Cedric Alexander meets the brand new WWE Champion on Universe Mode, Episode 13. I can't wait to see those two go at it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your main event of the evening. Men's Money in the Bank match qualifier. Who is going to meet this man inside the squared circle? Drew McIntyre getting another big time opportunity here tonight. He fought his way all the way to the finals of the number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship. He defeated Cesaro. He defeated Mustafa Ali. But unfortunately, after a classic with AJ Styles last week here on Raw, Drew McIntyre came up short. I'm sure he's feeling some type of way after AJ Styles was able to outlast Drew McIntyre and then outlast Bobby Lashley on pay-per-view to become the WWE Champion. But Drew McIntyre looking to right some of his recent wrongs here tonight. He could secure a spot, the first of six, inside the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. And if he can go on and win that matchup and pull down the briefcase, Drew McIntyre will have himself a guaranteed WWE Championship matchup in the future. And we all know that's what the King of Claymore is definitely looking to do. McIntyre looking to bounce back after some recent losses. Or I should say the one recent loss as we mentioned. And a win tonight could right all those wrongs for Drew McIntyre. But who will he face inside the squared circle? Who is the mystery opponent that will challenge Drew McIntyre in the first Money in the Bank qualifier for the men right here, right now? Oh, ho, ho. my God, ladies and gentlemen, the Rated R 
Superstar! Edge is in the house! The mystery opponent smells the return of the ultimate opportunist. A man who is very familiar with the Money in the Bank ladder match. Edge is here and he's got the boots on. He's ready to wrestle here on Monday Night Raw in a first time ever matchup versus Drew McIntyre. This is gonna be good. What a surprise here tonight. We've mentioned in recent history that AJ Styles in our canon universe mode was victorious over, over the rated R superstar Edge at WrestleMania. We haven't seen Edge since and now he is back here tonight on Monday Night Raw and he is going to challenge Drew McIntyre to actually contrary to what I said I don't believe this is a first time ever matchup if you look back at the catalog some Smackdown 2011 I'm sure these two had a one on one matchup there I believe I am correct when I say that you have to check the history books but this is a surprise Edge and Drew McIntyre right here right now in a men's money the bank match qualifier McIntyre looking to put Edge away in the early going but Edge gets the shoulder up we gotta set the- oh again, we don't even got time to set the stage. Drew McIntyre's looking to put Edge away early. McIntyre coming out swinging here over the Rated R Superstar and Edge's return to Raw. What a surprise here in the main event. As McIntyre picks up Edge and drops him near seven feet. And McIntyre's coming out swinging ever since the bell from the top drops the leg drop. And he's not even done. Drew McIntyre's got a fire under his ass here tonight. He didn't even give an edge a moment to breathe. No time for respect. Drew McIntyre wants that spot and money in the bank. He's got edge over the shoulders, lifting him up, letting the blood rush to his head, and drops him with the suplex. Drew McIntyre coming out swinging here tonight. After that loss to AJ Styles last week, he does not want to let another opportunity slip him by. But man, does he got a task in front of him. The ultimate opportunist himself, the Rated R Superstar Edge, the mystery opponent. A big surprise to all of us, and he's challenging Drew McIntyre right here, right now on Monday Night Raw. Edge able to get out of that suplex. Look at this. Muscles the strength to get the big man over his shoulders with the German. Edge, as we mentioned, he is very familiar with the Money in the Bank ladder match. He's cashed in the briefcase twice. He was the first ever winner back in 2005 at WrestleMania 21. Two years later, Edge won the Money in the Bank briefcase from Mr. Kennedy. And then cashed in just days later for the second time to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Edge, very familiar with that briefcase. Very familiar with the power of the contract. And man, can you just imagine if Edge, for a third time, a three-peat, can win the Money in the Bank ladder match. We can't look past... Drew McIntyre, as McIntyre is going uncharacteristic here. He's pulling out all the stops. He does not want to want Edge to get in his way. He does not want Edge to be a roadblock on his way to Money in the Bank. As I mentioned, I said it was the first time ever meeting, but go back and look at the history books some early 2011 before Edge's initial first retirement. McIntyre and Edge had a couple collisions back on SmackDown during the early days of Drew McIntyre's career. But here we are now, all these years later, Drew McIntyre a very different man, a very much stronger man, a more successful competitor in that ring. He's a former WWE Champion, a former Royal Rumble match winner. Defeated Brock Lesnar in the main event of WrestleMania a couple years ago. Drew McIntyre knows what it's like to be at the top of the mountain. After that failed opportunity against AJ Styles last week and then just sit, having to sit back and watch as AJ Styles won the WWE Championship against Bobby Lashley at Backlash. You know Drew McIntyre is coming out swinging here tonight, but Edge knows that, and he's pulling out big-time maneuvers. That flatliner sends Drew McIntyre to the face first onto the ground below. Man, this is a main event. What a great night. Here tonight on Monday Night Raw, the action in the ring has been incredible. Santos Escobar defeating Gray Metalik to retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Asuka returning to action to defeat Naomi. She is the first woman to qualify for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Moments ago, we saw Murphy at Seth Rollins pick up the win over the Mysterios. As McIntyre with a suplex on the outside of the ring to Edge. And things are getting downright brutal in this matchup. Neither man 
wanting to give it inch with such a big opportunity on the line. And McIntyre drops it with the DDT right on the floor. These guys are brawling away these last minute or so. Edge trying to fight back over Drew McIntyre here, but McIntyre definitely has got the strength and the size advantage over Edge. And Edge is no, no short man, but Drew McIntyre honestly almost towers over the Rated R Superstar. Is Edge able to take him down with a clothesline? And of course, as we found out moments before, Drew McIntyre made his way to the ring here. The next chapter in the Mustafa Ali and Seth Rollins rivalry will be written next week when those two go one-on-one -on -one in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. It's going to be a great contest. I can't wait to see those two go at it once more inside the ring after everything that has happened between those two men over the last number of weeks as McIntyre muscles Edge up once again. Look at this. Drops him down with a suplex for the second time in this contest. But Edge is trying to fight back. Goes for the drop kick with McIntyre. McIntyre has been all over Edge in this matchup. Edge is hanging in there. He's getting his shots when he can. But Drew McIntyre has absolutely been on offense mode the entire time. He has certainly not taken his foot off the gas in this matchup. As McIntyre looks to be scouting Edge for the Claymore kick. It's early on. McIntyre, Claymore to the Rated R Superstar. And Edge's return is about to be spoiled by McIntyre. But Edge gets the shoulder up just in the nick of time. Drew McIntyre has been on the offense throughout this entire matchup. Edge, as we mentioned, squeaking in here and there. But Drew McIntyre very much in control since the get-go. He hit his exclamation point, his big time maneuver, the Claymore kick, but the Rated R Superstar is still in this fight. This is Edge's first match since WrestleMania. Both these men with recent losses to our current WWE Champion AJ Styles. Meanwhile, McIntyre, Alabama Slam, reverse style, Edge eats canvas. McIntyre picking up Edge, using his strength against him, but Edge looking to take down the big man. Goes for the tree trunk legs. Edge takes down McIntyre again. Oh, looks like McIntyre may have got hit in just the right place off that forearm. He might have caught an elbow to the head. Edge has got those elbow pads on, but it's still going to hit. I believe McIntyre's got a little bit of a cut on the forehead there. That is not going to go well for him as we get into the later part of this matchup. Edge delivers the big boot. And you see the... The offense is starting to switch. You see Edge is starting to get in control. Edge is in the corner. He's looking for his signature maneuver. Edge delivers the spear to Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's down. He's got blood dripping from the forehead, but he's able to get the shoulder up. First the Claymore, Edge gets out of it. Then the spear, McIntyre gets out of it. McIntyre's busted open, but the fight continues here as neither man wants to miss out on such a huge opportunity. Who will be the first man to qualify for the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup in a couple of weeks' time? Will it be Edge returning to the Money in the Bank match, a match he helped make famous? Or will Drew McIntyre have his chance to take down the briefcase for the very first time in his career? As we continue to speak on the WWE Championship, as we mentioned, the WWE Champion AJ Styles will be in action for the first time since Backlash this coming Thursday on Main Event on Universe Mode Episode 13 as he takes on her business member Cedric Alexander. That match stemming from Cedric Alexander hitting the ring on behalf of Bobby Lashley after AJ's match with Drew McIntyre last week on Raw. Cedric Alexander laying out AJ Styles as Edge comes out of the ring. A little bit uncharacteristic for the Rated R Superstar, but he jumps out of the ring with that crossbody. You gotta throw caution in the wind if you want to succeed here, especially against somebody, a superstar of the caliber of Drew McIntyre. What a main event this has been. These guys have been fighting tooth and nail since literally the bell rung and Drew McIntyre was going to close out the match from the get-go. Edge goes for the sent time, but McIntyre's right there to get out of the way. Edge eating the floor right now. But the brawl continues right out here at ringside, and McIntyre eats the steel post. Man, these guys are just fighting, man. This is a matchup in your main event. 
McIntyre could be on the verge of getting counted out. We're at the count of eight here. He's going to get back into the ring, and we are at a stalemate. The rated R Superstar Edge versus the Claymore King Drew McIntyre. But Edge face plants McIntyre off a series of maneuvers inside the squared circle. Edge is feeling it at the current moment. There's the kick. He's looking to take down the big man with a couple of shots. He knows he's going to have to keep the offense on. Keep beating down Drew McIntyre if he wants to pick up the victory here tonight. You saw how much it took out of AJ Styles to survive McIntyre last week on Raw to punch his ticket to Backlash. And with McIntyre so fired up, especially from the get-go, that just makes it even harder to keep such a man like him down. It's McIntyre looking to battle back. Edge counters out. Hits the clothesline. Takes McIntyre to the floor. McIntyre still with that cut over the forehead. Don't you forget, as AJ, or excuse me, as Edge, drops the elbow off the middle rope. AJ Styles, the WWE Champion, the man who we've been talking about a lot in this thing. I'm sure has got his eyes on this matchup between two such big superstars in our, in our sport. Excuse me. As McIntyre is tied up on the top rope. Edge drops it with the elevated DVT. DDT, McIntyre down below with a bloody forehead already. That DDT is not going to pay him any dividends. Edge was going for the kick. McIntyre counters. McIntyre brings it in. Edge with the counter. Edge goes for the kick again, but McIntyre fights. Now he's got Edge in fireman's carry position. He's going to look to drop Edge right on the top turnbuckle. Edge eats the turnbuckle, and now he's stomping away on the Ray Lars Superstar. McIntyre just like that is in control and he's going to look to use a strength to his advantage send an edge for a roller coaster ride halfway across the ring and he makes it two as edge goes and crashes him down McIntyre goes for the kick edge is still in the fight what a matchup this has been edge pulling McIntyre in execution and that could be all and edge is not done he's not going for the cover yet Edge is going back in the corner. He's looking for spear number two. And Edge with the spear on Drew McIntyre. McIntyre is down and out. And that is it. Two spears and a bloody forehead later. Drew McIntyre cannot get to the count of three. And Edge has punched his ticket. And he's the first man to qualify for the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup in a couple of weeks time. What a return here to roll tonight. For the right R superstar. And a disappointing loss for Drew McIntyre. Back to back weeks here on Raw. First to AJ Styles and then the Edge. What a fight. You gotta give credit where it's due. The blood's dripping from the forehead, but McIntyre can't get it done. Thank you for joining us here on Raw, and we'll see you on Universe Mode, episode 13 for WWE main event AJ versus Cedric. See you next time. Yeah, I just wanna be great, yeah, yeah.